I'm Linda V. Taylor, and I have some smaller arch guides, and I want to show you what you can do with those. I want to show you how you can do some curved cross hatching. And I'm just starting on the side here and doing some little stitches to secure that. And then I'll put my ruler right there, come across, then switch over here to regulated. And just move up like that. And I want to stay right on those lines. I don't. I want to make sure that I'm not off of those, uh, off of the sideline when I come back across. Right there. Stay right on the line. Just go up like a foot width. And because I have lines across all of these, if I wanted to do half inch, I could. Let's do some half inch. So if I move up there and then I move this line, right so that this line here is even with the top. And then I'll come across and I'll move up about a half an inch there. So as you see, if I move down to this first line, that's a quarter of an inch and then my foot is a quarter of an inch. So that makes my half inch as I'm coming back across. And then I very carefully stitch in the line there, move this back up goes pretty quickly. So I could do, of course, um, three, three quarters of an inch. I could do whatever I wanted to there, um, just depending on which line I wanted. And in fact, if I was doing a different line, I think the best thing for me to do would be to put a, a piece of tape there or something so it would be easy for me to find the line so I wouldn't have to count the lines. But I'm only using the one line here, so this is real easy for me. Whoops. There we go. You can see it's getting more curved as I work up. When you first start, you're going to feel like it's very, very flat. Just following that line up to get in line here. There we go. Trying to do this with one hand is a little harder than if you can use um, both hands. So we started out with quarter inch and then we finished it there with half inch. Now if we just stitch across over here and come down this side, let's see I'm doing the half inch so I got to go to the line, there we go you'll be able to see very quickly. A little bit more. And I'm trying to keep my hands flat because if I don't have my hands flat, they really hurt me at night when I go to bed if I have them any other way. So ergonomically, any of the tools that you have that, that will have your hands flat, you're going to be better off. Now we'll finish off these last little ones, um, just so you can see that quarter inch. So these will be a little closer in here. Of course, you'd be consistent with whatever you were doing. Right now I'm just moving that back up, right even with the edge. So I've got the quarter inch now. Mm -hmm. 
And you could change it, you know? I mean, you can change it. Who says you can't change it? You just need to be consistent over the entire quilt. But there's your, um, your half inch. And um, then this was half inch with the quarter inch coming across it. And then, of course, the quarter inch in there. Awesome way to do your cross hatching. And now you know how to do your stop and start when you're stopping and starting in the same place. Remember, you need an extended base to work with your tools on your machine. But you can get these um, mini arch guides at Linda's Electric Quilters.